We have another phone caller uh, phone caller on the line, Betty from Dothan. Her son was in an accident and she has a question for you guys tonight. So Betty, you can go ahead with your question now. Oh, thank you. Um, my, my son was involved in an accident and they're saying that since the um, guy that hit him, his um, last month's payment was not made, they're saying that the insurance isn't um, effective. Yeah, uh, Betty, uh, that's a problem that we see from time to time. If the person did not have a policy in effect for failure to pay their premium, uh, then the insurance company, as long as they uh, met the statutory requirements, and it's, it doesn't require very much. If somebody doesn't pay their premium, an insurance company isn't going to be obligated to provide them with coverage. But there's still a little bit of a grace period there and a, and a, and a cancellation period. Um, you want to find out if they're within that and maybe you can force coverage. But if they don't have coverage, then the only option at that point is to go after that uninsured motorist coverage that I just talked about, which will be under your own policy. Um, that would be the type of coverage that will kick in to compensate your son in the event this other person's policy did cancel for failure to pay their premium. Perfect example of, of yeah. why UM it's, is it's, so important. It's so yeah. important. Yeah, I, I mean, we can't stress it enough on this show. Yeah. So hopefully that answers your question. Betty, we 